Greetings Aries! Welcome to your August 2015 Rune Scope with me. My name is Amanda. I'm just going to jump right in so that I can get these past and see what August has in store for my Aries friends. As always, I just want to remind you to check out the video for your rising sign in addition to this very general sun sign reading because your rising sign can clarify some things or um, let you know about other issues that maybe um, you may be encountering in August. Of course, the only way to get a reading only for you and your specific situation, your energy, um, is to schedule an appointment with me. I do readings live on Skype. Um, all of my sessions are 30 minutes and they're $65. Uh, if you would like to do that, just drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video uh, and, and let me know you want to uh, schedule an appointment. So that's runescopes 4 you at gmail.com. It's the number four and the letter U. Um, just drop me a line and we'll get you set up. Also wanted to mention I am going to be offering another online rune course. Um, that's going to be August 24th through October 2nd. So if you want to sign up for that, contact me at that same email address and we'll get you signed up. The deadline to sign up and pay is noon on August 20th. So be sure to get in touch with me before then uh, if, you want to, uh, if you want to do that. Um, the runes can be a great introduction to divination uh, if it's something that, um, if you're in a situation where you want to really start learning how to read for others or even just get some guidance for yourself, the runes can be a great introduction because there are a lot fewer of them than some of the larger systems, say the tarot, which has 78 cards, the runes, um, in contrast, have only 25. So it's a bit of a smaller group of things to, to, to memorize and learn about, but they can be very, very helpful. Um, when you need some guidance and you just need to, you know, you can just quickly draw a rune and see what's coming up. But let's take a look now and see what guidance they have for you in August, Aries. I do feel like your focus is going to be on work. Um, the, the Eight of Pentacles is the tarot card we have here. So you're going to be working very diligently on something. but. Many of you may feel like you are, because of the runes here, you may feel like, um, you know, no matter how hard you work, there's just not enough funds. Because I, I, a lot of you are working very hard because you have the, the Ten of Rods here as well. So you may be in a job where you're overworked, you just feel like you're not being paid enough. Um, you know, you, you could feel like, you know, if you were the lone breadwinner, it may be becoming too much. The Ten of Rods is a card of uh, being overburdened. Um, you know, of, of, uh, got a lot of irons in the fire and maybe never enough time to relax or never enough time to, uh, do some of the things you want to do for recreation, uh, Aries. And, um, you know, I do feel like as long as you can be patient, if you don't act out of haste in August, cause some of you may be, you may just have a few days in August. Cause you know, when you're, when you're tired of a job or when you're, when you're fed up with someone or something uh, in the job sphere, uh, you, you, you know, there's that straw that breaks the camel's back. You may encounter a situation like that in August, Aries, where you are tempted to just walk out or go to lunch and not come back or, you know, tell your boss just what you think of him or her. Um, need here is saying that may not be the best approach. Um, certainly, if you want to change jobs, August would be a great month to start looking to kind of uh, see what options are available. But if, if you don't find the right one to jump ship immediately, be patient uh, until you find the right gig because you don't want to kind of, you know, that old saying, jump from the frying pan into the fire. Um, those of you who own your own business, maybe it's a client that you feel is uh, taking advantage of you or um, maybe they're never on time with their payments or... Um, you know, the work that they expect you to do, again, they're always overloading you with work, but they never want to give you more pay or compensation for that. So, yeah, I think uh, August Aries is a month for you to take a look at your earning situation, however you make your money. And if it's not where it should be uh, as far as, um, you know, what's coming in, what's going out, or, or the amount of work expected for um, the, the compensation, it may be time to ask for a raise. It may be time to think about asking for a raise. We'll, we'll see if you should do it in August. <laughs> As we get over here, maybe not in August. Um, it may be uh, it may be more um, towards the fall when uh, it may be time to do that. But 
Um, I definitely think August is a month to look at that, to look at your earnings situation. Now, some of you may be working on a project uh, with the Eight of Pentacles that is very much, um, this is kind of your baby. So this could be a creative project, this could be a hobby that you're working on, um, or and you wanna finish it, but it may be that you don't have time. Maybe other people are interfering. Maybe you're always expected to be somewhere at times when you wanna be working on your project or when you wanna be, you know, working on your hobby. And uh, you may find that August is just a month where people keep making demands on your time um, or your day job keeps making demands on your time and you're unable to, to work on this, that's okay. I, I do feel like maybe towards the end of August, you'll have time to kind of step back and take um, some more time to work on this or have some more time to yourself. So um, just be aware of people who are using you in August, particularly in, in a work situation or in their expectations of you, Aries. This doesn't have to be work, but it's, you know, people who expect something from you, but they don't give anything back. Um, but yes, I do feel like there is one particular project that you're taking a lot of joy in, but um, it may just be hard to, to work it in with all of your other responsibilities. But it's kind of your retreat, it's your escape, it's where you go to, to kind of get away from mundania and all these, uh, all these worries. Um, now, for those of you uh, who are seeking work, I do feel like there will be options with the Seven of Cups. Maybe, maybe there are more options than you know what to do with. Um, and maybe this started in July, actually, since this is the, uh, the Seven of Cups. Um, maybe you started looking at other opportunities. Um, maybe you started looking at uh, even other fields maybe more creative fields. You may have started looking at jobs that were completely different from what you were doing before, and maybe there were so many things. This, can, this card can be the, the card of feeling overwhelmed, maybe too many options, or um, you know, there are so many different directions you could go that you're not sure. Um, you know, I do feel like you will find the right thing in order to leave behind whatever you're doing, whatever is causing this disenchantment, what's that, whatever is causing this um, uh, this imbalance uh, in in your uh, in your working life. I, I do feel like there's something coming, and you will narrow down the choice because the room that you have is uh, actually uh, Canis in reverse. So I mean, this means leaving behind a situation. Um, you know leaving a relationship or, or a situation. And some of you, this may be a relationship. Maybe you've been dating and uh, in July, uh, you had a lot of options. Maybe you were, da you were dating and seeing more than one person or maybe just chatting online or on an app or something. You had a lot of possibilities or a lot of potentials and you narrow that down in August. Um, you may be leaving that uh, dating behind. Some of you may just feel like, you know what? I don't like any of these options. So like, yeah, I'm on an online dating site, but I mean, I don't, you know, I've been on it for a while and I, I'm just sort of done with it. I'm not finding anybody that is to my liking. And for many of you, that may be best. That may be best with KNS here as, as it being a help to you. If, if you're in that sort of a situation and you're single and that's the way you've been kind of meeting people, but it hasn't been working out, it looks like you may try a different approach. Maybe just going out the old fashioned way going out and, and meeting people or, or joining classes or you know taking more interest in your hobbies and meeting people that way maybe that would be a better approach for you if that sort of online um scenario wasn't working for you uh now what can't be changed in august let's take a look at that we do have the knight of rods coming up in, in reverse this is normally uh fire energy like you so another aries sagittarius or leo person um it is presenting as a male, but again, in these general readings, doesn't have to be. This could be a more masculine female or, or a woman. Um, in the reverse, the Knight of Rods can be a bit, um, he's an overreactor, is the first word that comes to mind. I mean, you know, this could be somebody that kind of flies off the handle over something very trivial or, or that should have the opposite effect. Because what's coming up here is that someone is, you know, reaching out, supporting him. They care about him, but he responds in a negative way. And it's very confusing. This causes just a lot of disruption and misunderstandings. Um, now, because he's presenting as a knight, this is somebody who is uh, normally younger. 
So this could be somebody uh, in his teens or 20s, but uh, could also be a much older adult because he's acting immature because uh, this is coming up, I think, just to show immaturity. Um, and because this is for so many people, this may indeed be someone older acting immature, or maybe this is your son for many of you, or a younger brother, or somebody who is just causing chaos for really no good reason. <laughs> um, because uh, Manas is saying this person has had the support, they're turning their back on support, or, or someone's offering help offering to help and, and this person's responding in a negative way. Maybe this is somebody who has had an addiction issue, um, you know, and they're in denial. If someone's in denial of what's going on, then that is the reaction when someone reaches out to help them. They're just, you know, I don't, they're not ready to face it. Um, you can't make someone face something if they're not ready to do that. Um, now Aries, for many of you, this could be you. Again, it's up to you guys. To be honest with yourselves in these general readings, if you're dealing with a heavy issue like that, we can certainly set up a consultation and look at your situation personally. We'll get a lot more detailed info about how you should tackle your specific situation. But in general, um, yeah, if this is you and someone's trying to help you, don't take it as criticism. Just know that this is someone who cares about you because I see someone trying to help you, trying to support you, but you may take it as a criticism. Um, some of you, it, it may be that you are this Knight of Rods in the reverse. So, um, forewarned is forearmed, now you know. If you're not ready for the help, that's fine, but um, just pay attention to how you respond to that offer, um, if it's you. If it's not you, uh, yeah, again, this just could just be someone acting up or not wanting to, not wanting to better themselves, not wanting to better their life. Um, this is the guy who's always, he rushes into things. He doesn't make wise decisions. This is kind of all the negative fire sign energy. It's, it's, you know, rushing in where fools fear to tread. That's saying not thinking things through, not being patient, um, quick to anger, very bad temper. Um, and that's kind of first place he goes is just rage. Uh, and, um, yeah, so this is somebody who this energy may be just be difficult to deal with in August because it's, you know, it's not matching the offer. It's, it's like the opposite uh, to the offer of someone trying to help because this person is taking it as a criticism, as uh, they're just not ready to admit maybe what's causing the help to come in the first place or the support to come in the first place. Uh, now let's take a look at the outcome for August here. There's, yeah, there's something, somebody's been working very, very hard to hide something and in August it comes out. And um, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, it, it, it this can be, um, you know, someone being found out that they've deceived you, that they've lied to you, Aries. For those of you that this is you, I mean, if you have, you know, done that yourself, if you've been dishonest with someone, you could find that they are calling you out on it. Um, and the worst kind of thing you can do is deny it because this person's going to know <laughs> that you're lying. Now, I, I do feel like for most of you, this is, um, you know, this is coming for some, from someone else who, who is displaying these negative fire sign traits. So yeah, or, or they are a fire sign as well, but, um, yeah, they've been working very hard to hide something from you and you find out about it and, um, you know, this, this, this is somebody who, this is not new. This is not a new situation. So this is not something that's new to you. You've known, you've either known that this person had a problem before and they either got help for it and, you know, have relapsed or, um, and I'm kind of talking about this as, as, as if it were an addiction, but you know, it could be anything that someone's been hiding. Um, it could be behave, just behave negative behavior. Um, you know, or some kind of deceit that was going on. But um, this is not new to you, whatever this is. This has been a pattern with this person. So um, Aries, I mean, you know, I would say don't take anybody at face value in August, unfortunately. I feel like there's dishonesty afoot, someone hiding something, someone, and even if you know, even if you present them with evidence, again, it's like, okay, here's what happened they're still gonna deny it to the point of just ridiculous, ridiculously being um, negative 
about it. This is someone who has not yet learned their lesson. They're going to keep repeating this pattern. Um, maybe forever. Some people never learn those lessons. So, and, and, and a lot of those people are just here to teach us lessons. So, I mean, Aries, depending on which side of this equation you're on, you may be the one having to decide, okay, I'm going to get rid of this person. You're no good for me. You know, you promised that you would stop this and you're not. So you need to go. You need to pack it up and get on out of here. Um, you know, our, Aries, maybe some of you will leave a situation. Um, but for those of you who have been hiding and, and um, not being authentic with others, I, you know, you're just kind of making matters worse here for yourself. So, um, and some of you, this may have started in, again in July. I, I feel like a lot of this energy is carry over from July. So if you're watching this on July side, many of you probably know who this is, what's happening, um, you know, what this behavior is, you probably already got a glimpse. And, um, you know, I don't think this is gonna cover the whole month of August, but it seems to be pulling you away from your work, pulling you away from things you would like to do. But there is joy in August, Aries. Um, there is something that you're doing that is very positive. Maybe some of you are just, um, it seems to have to do with something you're working on that you're very uh, invested in. And, you know, for a lot of you, this is a creative project or a goal that you've set for yourself. And, and it seems to be going along very well. And then this person comes in and kind of disrupts things. And <laughs> you're just very upset about that. And rightly so. Um, so, yeah, August is a month where, you know, if you can't help someone, Aries, if they won't accept your help, um, if they're just a negative energy in your life, it may be time to cut ties with them. Um, you know, you can't make people accept your help, but you can't, you know, if they're affecting your life in a negative way, then you really, they really leave you no choice but to, to move on without them. So it's kind of a heavy month in August, Aries. Um, I do wish you good luck with that. I, I do hope that you find out, and I think you will, who this is that's, you know, hiding things from you. And they're not even doing a very good job, by the way, of hiding if somebody's hiding something from you. It's like you already know what's going on. They're not even covering their tracks very well. So, um, Aries, good luck with that. I wish you all the best and all the strength you need to make these decisions in August. And I'll see you back here in September.